For Nikki Johnson, this is not a fishing trip. And this is not a drift boat. It's a classroom. And this is not a river. It's a campus. You've got to be careful of the shallows. You've got to be careful basically running the ground. One day you're good, two days later the water's dropped eight inches and you can't go there anymore. And I'm learning that as we go. And to learn Idaho's Clearwater River, Nikki's been taken in by a sage of the river, Jeff Jarrett. Somebody wants to come to me and they want to learn a guide. I'll sit down and talk to them for a couple days. And their heart's got to be in it. Because their heart ain't in it. You're wasting your time, they're wasting their time. Life expectancy of a fishing guide, anywhere. Six years tops. First year they're zealous, second year they're like, well, yeah. Third year they kind of get, get back into it, and by the fourth and fifth year, they've lost it. Um, that one there isn't going to lose it. You can see it. If that's how Jeff sees Nikki, then this Wyoming-born woman is set for success on the clear water. She's got a lot of confidence. That's, that's a lot. I mean, that's, that's 95%. The rest of it you can teach. But the confidence, you know, to, to be able to jump in a boat and get out there and say, this is what I'm going to do every day and this is what I want to do every day, you know, my hat's off to that. Nikki will be ready to guide full-time on the Clearwater in a few weeks, although she knows no one ever stops learning the behavior of a river and its fish. The river is a living, breathing, changing thing every day, and so it takes a long time to learn any river. With Nikki Johnson and Jeff Jarrett of Jarrett's Guide Service for Outdoor Storytellers, I'm Dan Barth. KXOY4, HD News.